with the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing in a rematch for the WBC and WBA Unified Welterweight and the WBC Super Welterweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing to you first, the challenger on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks, hailing from Margarita Santa Fe, Argentina. He weighed in at already 146 pounds with a record of 35 wins and four losses. He has 31 wins coming by way of knockout. Currently ranked the number three welterweight in the world by the WBA and number two by the WBC. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the challenger, the hard hitting and determined former two weight division champion of the world, introducing Marcos. Chino Maidana! And his opponent across the ring, really needing no introduction, the world over in the blue corner, wearing snakeskin trunks with black trim, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He weighed Let's in at go. 146 and one half pounds. He Let's is go. undefeated oh. in his campaign in the ring with a record of 46 wins, yeah. no losses, 26 yeah. wins coming by way of knockout. Currently, the WBC and WBA welterweight world champion and the WBC super welterweight champion of the world. Tonight, making his 24th world title appearance. Ladies and gentlemen, here is boxing's undisputed top attraction. The undefeated pound. Once again, a referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Kenny Bayless. Rex. Rex. Okay, troops are okay on both sides. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to caution you right now to keep this fight clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Good luck, Bruno Suarte. Touch him up. This crowd is electric inside this arena. It has been four months since these two have tangled. About to do it again. Folks, it's time for mayhem. Let's see if the beginning is different than last time. As far as the style. Mayweather comes out in these snakeskin trunks. Black trim. Maidana in the red trunks. Keep in mind, Maidana came out in the first fight. Jumped right on Mayweather. Mayweather is getting his jab out there first. Trying to set the pace. And my body cannot just run into it. He gets the jab there just ahead of the good right hand that my body tried to score behind it.
fight with his legs. Here's a jab to the body of Maidana. Madonna is trying to track him down, but when he 
takes a step to the right, then Mayweather takes a step to the right and negates the attempt to cut off the ring. So he makes the adjustment upon the guy trying to adjust to him. One of the things that makes it special. So you have to get another gear if you're my dog. The second half of that last fight, Mayweather took every one. Rolling the out. 
outside, and you can't get near it. That's what he's going to try to slide into as we move along in this fight. Madonna still trying to cut off the angles and come right to it. Right hand by Floyd. And that's why we have a real good fight for the both executing a specific style. Madonna hitting back his ears, coming straight ahead. Mayweather accepting that sometimes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Another one, two. Maidana comes back with a two-punch combination. Shaking his confidence. Oh, stop, Even stop, 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 Pound King in boxing, Floyd Mayweather. Titles on the line. Against Marcos Maidana, we're at the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in Las Vegas. I'm Brian Custer alongside Dave Montella. The first half of the fight has been a different one in terms of Mayweather controlling the action via the counter. He's had the numbers to his advantage. He's basically uh, dominated all the categories. Maidana, the big number is the intangible one. Can he get close enough to land a big shot on Mayweather? Right hand misses by Maidana. Stop, 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 stop. Let up, let up. Shot by Mayweather and the jab. The crowd is trying to summon Maidana, ironically, as Mayweather doing some of the best work. Then 
huh? part of that huh? first huh? fight is that Mayweather allowed that style to happen for six rounds. He wanted it to be in tight. He said he wanted to get the fans a little bit of entertainment. And when he shifted gears and went to the lateral movement, then the, the train left the station as far as Maidana being able to get to him. And he showed more of that in this fight.
Step back. Stop, stop, stop. Step back. Let him go, let him go, Floyd. Let him go. Stop, 
Yeah, yeah. From both Maidana. of you, step back Watch clean. The Here we go. He's just coming up <laughs> a little bit short with that right hand. Oh, Floyd Mayweather tattoos Maidana. Oh, there's another one. It was low, Floyd. Keep and it up. Kenny Bayless. You want time? Do you want time? Right. It was low. Uh, the second the one. Yeah. Like Donna. And the right hand she landed in earlier 
fights uh, in the last four or five. Moved his opponents off the mark and discouraged them from trying to hold up. Well, he was all business, Roy Mayweather was. Going into the ring. <laughs> Wouldn't right, a lot stop, of stop. Like right, he's let had him up, let him up. Let go. There you go. Had a tumultuous week. He made some comments about the Ray Rice situation. <laughs> Apologize for that. But if there is anyone in boxing who knows how to compartmentalize despite what's going on with him personally, it's Floyd Mayweather because he continues to rack up the W's. And tonight, barring anything that happens in this last 10 seconds, it's another one. After 12 rounds of action here at the MGM Grand, we go to the scorecards. We have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge ringside, Guido Cavalleri scores about 115 to 112. Judges John McKay and Dave Moretti both score about 116 to 111. All three in favor of the winner. And still the undefeated champion of the world.